to the National Rosacea Society, it's estimated that rosacea affects over 16 million Americans and as many as 415 million people worldwide. This condition not only causes physical discomfort, but may also have emotional effects. Let's meet Dr. Sarab Loda. He's from Pura Dermatology, located in New York City, to talk about this condition and treatment options. Welcome, Dr. Loda. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for, for having here. me. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Look, I, let's let's start right with the basics. What is it, and who does it affect? So rosacea is like a chronic condition. It's an inflammatory condition where your skin sort of feels hot, you know, in, in intense uh, activity. It feels sort of warm in your face, and it presents sometimes as being red or rosy. That's where you get the name rosacea. But oftentimes in darker skin, you don't necessarily see that. Mm -hmm but you feel it, you, know, you feel kind of hot in your skin or irritated. It can present with pimples and, and, and bumps around your, your face and those kind of things. And there's some triggers that can make it worse. So sun, for example, can make it worse. UVA specifically. Does it scar you? It can cause little wow. things called telangiectasias. So if you don't get it treated for a long time, you get these little kind of squiggly lines near your nose or on your face. You can also develop something called a phimidus change where your nose changes permanently. Like all these things can happen but they happen a lot less now because of treatment. So there's a lot we can do uh, for the condition. It can affect women a little bit more than men. It happens more often in, in, in fair-skinned people, but it can happen in darker skin. It's also misdiagnosed a lot of times as acne when it's not. So it's a lot more common than we think. Look at that, a lot I did not know. So you mentioned treatment. Obviously it's important to get to it as quickly as possible. How do you treat patients who start feeling these symptoms and you diagnose them with it? So like there's a variety in terms of how it presents. It could be very, very mild or it could be really severe. So let's just say it's a mild version of the, the condition. Um, we start with topical things, so washes and creams. If it's a little more intense or it's more the inflammatory type, you can add on pills or vitamins, but for all patients with rosacea, you wanna talk about their lifestyle as well. I mentioned sun, you know, UVA specifically can make it worse. If you wanna be on the right sunscreens, so physical sunscreens that block out the sun are better. And then also like mineral-based uh, makeups are also better because their skin is very sensitive. It reacts. And so in my office, I like to say that it's more of a skin type than like a skin condition. That no, makes sense. So people understand it better, you know, because you don't always see those things. So those kinds of things um, are some examples of where you would change your lifestyle in some ways, but um, there are a lot of good treatment options as well. Are there new treatment options out there that are available that, that the patient and the doctor should be aware of? I'd say in the past like 10 years, there's been some advancements in the treatment uh, of rosacea, more on the topical side, you know, but for 20 years or almost 20 years, there hasn't been anything really developed for the oral side or the more severe cases of rosacea. Um, and there's a new medicine called Emrosi, which is a treatment for those inflammatory lesions of rosacea, the pimples and, and bumps that are associated with rosacea. It's been in a phase three clinical trial compared to the current industry standard. Wow. And the only other you know, FDA approved treatment for the inflammatory type of rosacea, it outperformed. So yeah, there's a lot of new treatments. It's a pretty exciting time. So can you be a little bit more specific in terms of what they saw from these results yeah. of the clinical trials? Basically, they were studying the moderate to severe patients with rosacea. And in those patients, in the Emrosi side at 16 weeks, so four months into it, 63% of those patients, they got clear or almost clear skin with Emrosi alone, no other treatment. In the same study, there was Oratia. That was at 39% and the placebo was at 28%. So there's a significant difference between, you know, Oratia and Emrosi, a lot better than what's out there today. Any safety issues? Yeah, I mean, with any medicine, you want to talk to your doctor, you know, about those potential side effects. Um, the side effects for Emrosi were very similar to the placebo. And the most common one was dyspepsia, where you feel kind of burning in your stomach after a meal or after a drink. Other than that, it's a tetracycline. So you want to discuss that with your doctor because if you're allergic to a tetracycline, you could be allergic to minocycline as well. And minocycline um, in the study, there was none of these side effects, but with minocycline specifically, the antibiotic dose, there's some rare side effects that can happen. So you want to discuss that with your doctor as well. Um, if you had any history of kidney disease or liver disease, you want to discuss that also. You would not want to take this medicine if you were a child or under the age of 18, because it wasn't studied in that population. You wouldn't want to take it for an infection because it's not a, an antibiotic um, dose potentially for, we don't know if it would help with an infection. And then if you were breastfeeding, trying to become pregnant or pregnant, it wouldn't be for you either. So any final advice you would have for anyone suffering from rosacea? A, it's very treatable. So a lot of patients with rosacea sort of kind of give up on the condition. They may have seen many doctors and then not get better or get misdiagnosed as acne and give up on their acne. But there are a lot of new treatments. 
um, a lot of ways to kind of help with this condition. So um, I would encourage people to see their doctor and also to know that if you have it and you're like, well, it's not affecting me too much, I'm okay, it can cause some trouble down the line. We mentioned five minutes changes in the nose or those telangiectasias, but it can also prematurely age you and disrupt your collagen. So it's good to get it, get evaluated if you're curious about it. Um, and if you do have it, you know, get some treatment. And when will Rosie be available? So it's actually available now. It's an available in all the pharmacies across the country. It is new, so it's a prescription. You have to see your doctor and talk about it, um, but it's available. Fantastic. Thank you so much. I appreciate all the information. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Thank no you. Problem, no problem. And if you want more information about Ambrosi, including the full prescribing information, visit Ambrosi.com. And of course, you can always go to our website, thebouncingact.com. We'll be right back. Absolutely.